shall continue to opening Chilling Range. Yay! The just released set and it has only been released for one week only. And today I am so lucky to I'm going to open this booster box. Yay! So because there are so many packs within this booster box, so today I'm going to open half of it. Uh, and uh, like I said last time, I have never opened this many packs on a video. But last video I'm opening two ETB and this time I'm going to, to open half a booster box. How exciting it is because I would know if I have a chance to get all those alternate art within this set because we all know. This set has a lot of alternate art cards. So yeah, that's what we are going to open today. If you're new to my channel, my name is Pikachu and I open Pokemon TCG products here on my channel. So if you are interested, stick around and let's start opening. Yay! Well guys, as you can see here, I have the booster box here on the table and for today especially, I also wear my uh, Pokemon shirt, yay! So I can have some good luck for today uh, because um, I have read a lot of posts on the internet and apparently opening Chilling Rain booster box will not guarantee you to always have good cards inside. And some box can be extremely crazy and some box is just meh. So yeah, so I'm quite excited to see what I can pull in this box. It's going to be quite exciting. It's going to be very exciting because I really don't know what would be included inside. So, oh my god, did you guys see those, uh, oh, those white thingy falling out? I think it's because of the prints on the uh, carveler of the chilling range booster box. Oh, so dirty. I hate this wrapper already. Oh my god. Why is it getting like worse quality than ever before? Oh! It's like snowing over my body. So this is how the booster box looks like. You can see here it's damaged a little bit, but uh, I receive it like that. So uh, it's not even my fault that it's a little bit damaged that way. So this is how the booster box looks like. And I'm going to open half of this booster box, which means these many packs. You guys can see it's quite a lot here on the table. Uh, the rest I'm going to spread it into two. Okay, and uh, there are so many alternate art cards you can pull in this set. For example, the three legendary bird alternate art, the Blaziken V Max, the Shadow Rider Calyrax, and I for Ice Rider Calyrax V Max. Also, the uh, Slow King alternate art, the uh, Thunderous Tornadus, the Tornadus. The um, Galarian Rapidash, which I have already pulled in the last video. The, um, what is it? The Blissey. Oh yeah, and last but not least, the Zero Aura Alternate Art. I was so fortunate to even pull that one in Japanese already. And I pulled the uh, Alternate Art for Galarian Rapidash in the last video. How fortunate I was. And so if you haven't checked those videos, I will leave it in the eyes so you can check that one. So now we're moving on to um, the main part. We're gonna all crack this pack open. I want to see if my uh, booster box are good or the bad one. Um, beside the alternate art cards, I also... Ooh, white and green! Be beside the alternate art card, I also really want to pull the trainer full art as well. There are a lot of cute, beautiful waifu in this set, which I'm excited to pull it. So we have Raboot. This is actually one of the biggest Pokemon set they have ever been released. It's a combination of not one, not two, but three set. It's a Jet Black Silver Lens in Japanese and also Matchless Fighter. So it's quite big. Sobble, Hatena, Kufu, Ghastly, Reverse Low, Vanipede. So this set is different from uh, Vivid Voltage, for example, because uh, you will not receive any uh, special card. For example, the Amazing Rare in the Reverse spot. So, we all depends on the rare. Oh, Gengar. I am not mad at this card, I actually. I think I've stated several times already. I actually really like the Gengar card, but uh, I pull him quite often. So, well, it was, it's great because uh, I actually uh, like this card. So, first pack magic, not really like extremely magic, but we have a holographic in the first pack. Moving on, Motrix pack. I hope we can get the uh, Motrus in this Motrus pack. Oh, I just noticed that the code card is the other way around. So uh, we have to be more careful not to spoil the fun. It's a Motrus. The Flappy is also a very cute card. I actually really like that with this one as well. The Flappy looks very cute. The color is bright and 
um, tearful, the feel, vinipide, furfuro, galarian farfetch. He looks so upset for some reason. Sneasel, reversal of quirrelfish, and we have sorbux. So if this is the first time you watch my videos, I have said it several times in the last videos that because this set is a combination of the three set. So um, and for one set, I think it was very easy to recognize. Oh, I already see something. Oh my god, I see something. Uh, for some card, you can actually uh, recognize which set it was from in Japanese. So uh, when I see it, I will show you guys. For example, I can easily recognize cards from the set uh, Silverland. Silverlands, it has like very icy themes, snowy, wonderland, snow, wonderland, gold, lady bra, like this card. Snowy, uh, cool, winter wonderland kind of cards. Reversal of rock helmet, I can see the border already. And yes, we have the Ice Rider, Calyrex V Max, the first V Max we pulled from this booster box. I actually really like this, uh, the card actually. They designed it very beautifully. Wow, that's nice. So we have one V Max, moving on. The code card is the other way, so you have to do this so you won't spoil the fun. But I think that the uh, code card in the ETB is different. It's faced the other way. Honey, Spiral Energy, Crabble Minable, Kofu, Bound Sweet, Snoran, like this one, you see? Snowy. You can easily tell it's from the Silverland set in Japanese. Galarian Jamax, Kofing, Reversible Rapid Strike Ushifu, and we have Galarian Surfish. So nothing from this pack. Moving on. So what do you prefer? Do you prefer opening ETB or do you prefer opening uh, the whole booster box? Let me know in the comment section down below. In my opinion, I actually like ETB. It's just because I like the design of ETB in general. And they also include some nice goodie inside. I don't know. And it's really good for displaying. I think they are very beautiful items for collecting and displaying. So yeah, I like I prefer ETB, but for the price of a booster box, it always give you more. Um, it's bring back the value, I guess. It's cheaper, and you can open more packs. Silio reversal out, and we have Rapid Strike Ushifu holographic. Okay, we just pulled the reverse, and now we pull the holographic. Nice. One of my dream is collecting ETB from every set has ever been released. I know that it's a very impossible task because there are so many ETB and um, yeah, and it's, they have like some ETB, it's just very expensive. I don't know when I can make that dream come true, but I will, I will work hard for it. So one day I will be able to collect all the ETB. Rock rough. Ooh, very cute card. I mentioned several times already. You can see a different version of uh, Clack Clown in the background. And we have Survive Bird. Ooh. I think the puree from this set is very difficult, I would say. I have attached the um, statistic that people um, post on Reddit. Actually, I retrieved that picture on Reddit that people tell you what are the pull rate from this set. I will attach it again on the screen so you can uh, see it again for a row. Bounce Suite, Sobo, Reverse Hollow Taurus, and Aragon. Two packs in a row, absolutely nothing. But you would never know what you will pull. You would never know. So this is a code card. One, two, three, four. Four to the front. Dark Energy, Crabble Minable, Rock Helmet, Flannery. So if you cannot get the code card from this video, you can always feel free to contact me on Instagram so I can send you code cards. I have quite some spare ones. So if you want code card and you couldn't get it from this video, feel free to contact me on Instagram. And Scolipide, oh my god. <laughs> so many weird cards, yet no rare card has been pulled. I, I, I cannot keep track how much I have already opened. 
So this is the code card. One, two, three, four, four to the front. We have water energy, fog crystal, Agatha. I think she looks quite creepy. I don't know if you think the same. I mean, she is a cool uh, Pokemon master, but she looks creepy. Raboot, Marie, Rookie, Farion. I actually like this art. It's like very hand drawn kind of uh, art style. Golette, Graboiler, Rapid Strike, Stroll of the Psych, and Vocarona. Wow. The streak of not having anything. Next. I think we are almost halfway through. Oh, white and green! Finally! Finally, white and green. Let's see. Metal Energy, Fire Resistant Glove, Pinia. She is also a very cute trainer. I would love to pull her as well. Celio, Lapras, Bound Sweet, Vinipide, Route, Aeron. I think like beside pulling the uh, Moltres alternate art and the Articuno Mot alternate art, I also really want to pull the Thunderous. I don't know why, but that card is kind of growing on me for something, for some reason. I think it looks really cheerful with a lot of colors and quite nice. So I hope I would get that one finger cross. Aaron, reverse low, get a board. Blaze again, V! Hey, finally pulling one V. Wow, halfway through and we finally pulled one V. Blaziken V. It's a Blaziken, but not an alternate art, it's a V. <laughs> So the search for the uh, alternate art continue. Ooh, white and green again. Okay, okay, okay. Psychic energy, Bonia again, Ladian, Doctor, Gasform, Heracross, Routes, Fish, Gasform again, Twaki reverse, and single strike Ushifu. Okay. So we pull the rapid strike Yushifu and now we pull the single strike. I mean, give him a friend. <laughs> Not really friends, but it's just different version of him. Okay. Uh, here's a code card. I think I have a glimpse of the code cards. I didn't expect much from this pack, but let's see. Crushing Glove, We're Lipper Day, Bonia, Porygon, Ladybug, Ghastly, Rock Ruff. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> Inkay. Reversal of Galado and Slurpruff. So I see it right. There's nothing in this pack. You see, the purit for this set is quite difficult. And some people say that it's kind of somehow similar to battle style. Like difficult purit kind of set. But I also think it's also because the set is way too big. For example, uh, and they don't and they give you the pools very randomly. Uh, whilst in Japanese, when you open a booster box, you were always guaranteed to have a specific number of rare cards that you can pull. You are guaranteed to pull at least one secret rare in one box. So, um, it's just not the same for the English set. And, uh, wow, the streak continue. I think my booster box is one of those boxes that is, uh, Quite bad. It has quite bad pull rate. Oh my god. Solar green again. Oh well, that's my life. Oh, cementary, Ladian. Uh, yeah, I just feel like I'm very. Uh, Sometimes I'm just very unlucky with uh, in, uh, with English set. The uh, last time when I opened an ETB is one of the rare times that I can pull my uh, chase card. But in general, for English set, mm, my luck is not very good. But oh well, this is what you get. Sometimes you can be lucky, sometimes you cannot be that lucky. It's life. So we have four packs left. And it's life, so you cannot always get what you want. Sometimes you have to open a lot of packs for it. Sometimes if you're lucky, you open a few packs and you got the cards that you want. But uh, yeah, I'm used to it already. Meloni is also one of the trainer full art I wanted to pull. Ghastly, Blizzle, Snover, Sneasel, Swirlix, Reversal of Bernie, and Zarud Holographic. At least it's a holographic. At least we pull a holographic and not just a normal rare. Three packs to go. This one is a Zapdos pack. Oh my god, I see Solar Green again. One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh my god, I opened all the bad packs from this booster box or what? Drizzle, Kufu, Chirpet, 
Score Bunny, Diglett, Inkay, Reversal of Lapras, and Golurk. Wow. <laughs> okay, Moltres back. I think I have to do it like this so I cannot see the code cards. One, two, three, four. Four to the front. We have Psychic Energy, Twacky, Porygon 2, Impact Energy. Kufu, Bam Sweet, and in the ETB, uh, in the booster box, you will always have 36 packs, while in ETB, you will always have like 8. So, in terms of price, booster box is a better choice, but if you are the collector and you want to keep product seal as well, then ETB is your choice. And Nani? Oh my god! Oh my god! is so bad the centering is so bad but i don't care i pull my chase card again in the last last second packs to last oh my god oh my god i pull zero aura v wow <laughs> wow it's so beautiful look at it Wow. wow guys, the card is so beautiful. The Zero Aura, the one that I really like. Oh, you can see there's also Gamel Pokemon here. Uh, you can see there's a Weevil here and there's a Pokemon like... I don't know, it's a... Uh, what kind of Pokemon is this? But it's so beautiful! I pulled the Chase card again! Wow, I pulled Zero Aura V. This makes me so happy that I finally pulled my Chase card in English as well. Not just in Japanese. Well, now I have both the Japanese and the English one. We have the last pack. Maybe after... Uh, oh, white and green again. So maybe after the streak of uh, bad packs, <laughs> I finally pulled my alternate art cards. It's beautiful, isn't it? Too bad that uh, the centering is extremely horrible. But uh, oh well. It's a zero aura. Wacky, Sneasel, Grookey, Global Boost, Hera Gloss, Marie, Blade Bar, and Shadow Rider Calorix V. Well, at least the last two packs are the good packs. Well, let's move on to the recap, guys. Yay! Well, guys, so this is the recap. You can see I pulled several holographic here. I pulled four holographic. In the total of 16 packs. So Gengar, Zeru, Single Strike Ushifu, and Rapid Strike Ushifu. Uh, 2V, 1V Max is the Ice Rider Calyrex V Max, Shadow Rider Calyrex V, and Blaziken Vs. And last but not least, in only 16 packs, I pull this Zera Aura V alternate art. It's so beautiful, isn't it? It's so beautiful, but too bad. Look at the centering, like from left to right is very bad <laughs> but anyway i'm grateful for it and i just i'm just really glad that i have it in my collection now i have it in both japanese and english so well what do you guys think about the pool rate and what do you guys think about the pool so far let me know in the comment section down below well guys that's it for the video today i guess my pokemon shirt bring me luck today and yeah in only 16 packs uh, we pull the alternate art Zero Aura V. So I guess in every booster box you will be guaranteed to pull one alternate art, but I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure, but uh, I guess that's just what you get. In general, I think the pull rate is quite difficult and there are so many bad packs because, yeah, like I have mentioned, the set is very big, so the chance you will pull rare card is probably not that high. Um, and in addition to that, in the booster box, it contains 36 packs. So of course I cannot uh, make it in one video, but I would make it in two, two, two part. So stay tuned for the next one. Uh, what is it in comparison to ETB? I think in price value, the booster box is probably a better choice if you want to pay uh, a certain amount of money for a lot of packs then ETB, oh no, then booster box is probably going to be your choice. With a little bit more than 100 bucks, you can uh, open 36 packs. For ETB, you pay 50 something packs and you only have 8 packs. Uh, 40, uh, you pay 50 something bucks and you can only get 8 packs. So, 
well uh, it has different kind of uh, advantages and disadvantages for example ETB you can have a like, really nice design box for displaying for booster box you just have packs so well it's up to you the pull rate is I think is equally difficult but I pulled my chase car so I'm happy for now if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to uh, check out other contents on my channel and if you like them consider giving me a subscribe that will be a really great support for me and this channel again thank you for watching and hope to see you the next time bye